Did his bar forget that raw products being used to produce beer the deceased has gotten from the north? Welcome to the news. They have series of vituperations coming from different angles all over the country concerning the ongoing destruction of beer commodity in the northern part of the country by his bar operatives. This very gesture, which contributed immensely to the decision of southern governors for states to start charging and collecting VAT, has continued regardless of the fact that it has been affecting the economic situation of the country in terms of revenue generation. However, amid this concerted attitude being exhibited by the Hizbah Islamic group, my question is, did Hizbah forget that the raw material being used to produce these beers that is so much detest is being gotten from the region? According to a later research I did, I discovered that sorghum, which is also called guinea corn or dawa, is the raw material that is being used to produce these alcoholic beverages, and they are mostly cultivated and grown in the north. States like Plateau, Kano, Kaduna, Zamfara, Sokoto, Baoshi, Nasara, amongst others, are the major producers of this sorghum, which have been exported to other regions where it will be used to produce these alcoholic beverages that the Hizbo operatives are often destroy when they are imported into the north. However, if some of these northern states that are against alcohol beverages must keep destroying them after the sorghum, which was gotten from the region, has been processed and used to produce alcohol. Then they should stop producing them because I am certain that they haven't forgotten where the source of its raw material comes from. We are in a democratic system of government and uh, nobody is dragging anybody around. Nobody should be dragging anybody around. That you don't like this does not mean you should not prevent another person from having it. Especially when that thing, it is not causing you any harm. It is not causing the other person any harm. You should allow another. Just like in a house, I want to fast. And because I want to fast, I will say, nobody is allowed to cook and eat. No, when others are hungry. I am the one that made the decision that I do not want this thing. I made my decision. And so I am not going to force down the fruits of others, the decision I have taken for myself. I will allow them as adults as they are and human as they are to make the decision of choice. Everybody has a choice. If I decide to keep taking alcohol, I shouldn't now stop others that are not taking it or say I have a problem with them. If I decide to be holy now by not taking alcohol, then I shouldn't see others taking it as enemies. I made my own decision. It is not a thing of life or death. No gun was pointed to my head and I said, okay, I will not drink alcohol. So I do not know where this thing is coming from. You don't support something as a religion. Why force it down the throne of others? Why force it down the throne of others and in a bid to do that, money is lost. People that produce this thing and ship it to the north, maybe there might be people in the business there might, be, there might be wholesalers and there might be those who are using it to fend for themselves. And when you come in contact with this, I don't understand. There is misplaced, there's what we call misplaced priority in Nigeria. There are things that are on ground now, not those particular ones. If this is our issue, I don't think, I don't think Nigerians will even, that, that means we do not have any problems at all. That means we do not have problems at all. This should not be a problem right now. People are dying every day in the north and they are wasting their energy transferring it to, to, to bottles of, of beer produced. Why not use this same energy to fight the menace, the bandits, the terrorism that is in the north over there? And they keep wasting the energy, wasting it on things as such. I just pray we come to the realization that, that I do not like this thing, does not stop the other person from liking it. Everybody has a choice. I have made mine, I should allow the other person make his or her own decision. On this note, we'll come to the end of the news today. Thank you all for listening and have a pleasant day ahead.